This site where new apartments would rise is across from an existing mixed-use complex with a brew pub, both developed by the Tom Watson Company. As renderings show, 52 Hanover Street would have 171 apartments, 20 of which, or 10 percent, would have their rent capped to workforce housing standards, meaning pegged to the city's median income. I think any time you, you, you cap a revenue, um, you know, as long as you're planning through your modeling uh, for that cap, then you can make it work. Watson Company VP John LaLiberty says they're adding value to the community. Or the best way we feel to com combat a, you know, a, a market in which demand is so high is to build more housing. Balancing developer profit and resident affordability is a formula applied to other Portland projects, such as the planned conversion of the old Northern Light Mercy Hospital complex into hundreds of apartments. 170 would be at market rate rent, but 100 would be set aside for low-income housing. We feel strongly that there are sort of civic benefits to what we're doing. The developer, Redfern Properties owner John Cully says new rentals will keep people who work in Portland living in Portland. If we don't build new apartments to accommodate them, they're going to in turn look at, to the existing housing stock. And that's really what leads to gentrification. Cully is also developing what would be Portland's tallest building, 200 Federal Street, 18 floors, 190 feet, with 263 apartments, rent capped for 10 percent of them, pegged again to the city's median income. He hopes to break ground this October. What we're focused on is creating quality housing that meets the sort of economic viability threshold, but that adds to the housing inventory in Portland. Portland's Planning and Urban Development Director tells me the board is likely to give approval of this project tonight. Moving ahead, though, developers are going to have to change the formula thanks to a referendum passed last November by Portland voters, increasing the percentage of apartments whose rent is capped at below market rates from 10 percent to 25 percent. Live in Portland, Phil Hirschkorn, WMTW News 8.